The inner city suburb of Newtown is known as an alternative hub. A place where anything goes. But even the most broad-minded amongst Newtown's eclectic population have been challenged by this. We've become so politically correct about everything that no one says anything. And if we do say something, you get massacred. See, that's the French one. Reda Ghali painted it in September after his friend chose not to use a burqa in a fashion show for fear of having his shop burnt down. We should be able to say whatever we need to without being fearful. And that fear factor is getting stronger. The mural has just been vandalised for the eighth time, causing him to install a third surveillance camera to monitor it. Even in the street art capital of Sydney, the work raises questions about the limits to our freedom of expression. The National Association of Visual Artists has been actively involved in the issue of freedom of speech. I think my feelings about it are um, complicated because I think it's, it does bowl some very interesting challenges to us, which are about um, freedom of expression versus some kind of respect for the feelings of people from different cultures. While Redigali says the work is not racist, he is in strong opposition to the burqa. Part of his intentions were to highlight how artistic censorship is happening in Australia. While Marrickville Council is exploring options to have the mural removed, they have no legal standing, as Mr Redigali painted it on his own wall. Redigali has no intention of taking the mural down, and he says he is toying with the idea of changing it, so that it reads, say no to Sharia law. No, there should be no limits, because no matter what someone puts in front of our faces, our choice is we can either engage in the conversation or we can walk away from the conversation. But the mural has been strategically placed on one of City Rail's busiest corridors, where each day commuters don't face a choice about whether they see it or not. When people choose to make a public statement like that, obviously their intention is to create a a public discussion and I think that's very healthy. I think we should be talking about things. Gemma Castle, The Shelf.